Joining us today is Rosemary Falk, the MP for Battleford Zoyvinster. Now, Rosemary, I know you were at the eve of that long, long election for the new Conservative leader. So just kind of take us through the evening and how that all played out. For sure. So it was very... Uh exaggerated <laughs> uh, just because there was some malfunctions with the with the counting machine um, that being said I, I believe the program was supposed to start at 6 p.m. and I don't I don't think we got results to even I want to say after midnight Eastern Standard Time I could just be exaggerating that all in my mind because it was just so long um, but it was just it was a long process um, but I feel like that kind of um, is expected just with the type of race we had right this race was supposed to be finished end of june um, but due to covid 19 did get exaggerated um, until now so i i think you know not only myself but even the membership um, of battleford's Lloydminster, and i would say even just in general with the conservative party of canada we're happy that this is over and now that we can uh, move forward uh, to making sure that we can uh, hold justin well, I guess continue holding Justin Trudeau to account. I know on your Twitter you advocated for Leslin Lewis, but the majority, of course, went to Aaron O'Toole. What are some of your thoughts on his plan and his platform going forward? For sure, yeah, I did. Uh, I did endorse Leslin Lewis, um, as did a few of uh, other sitting MPs and colleagues of mine did as well. Um, you know, I just need to note that she did take Saskatchewan. Um, you know, every she she won the province. Uh, she was a hundred points short of winning Alberta as well. So I think she resonates uh, a lot with uh, Western Canadians and Western um, Western Conservative members. Um, you know, that being said, of course, uh, Leslin. Lynn has come out uh, behind our new leader, um, as as we all should, right? This leadership um, contests are like this. They, you know, we people get behind a candidate. Um, we want to uh, get our candidate out there as much as possible, share their ideas, um, and then when that race is over, we get behind our new leader. And you know, I'm just gonna you know mention a couple of the things that um, Aaron O'Toole has said that he's going to do. Like he said in his speech that night on Sunday um, or Monday morning, <laughs> however we want to define it. Uh, that, you know, he's been given a clear mission, and that's to unite our party, to champion our conservative principles, um, and to to continue to show Canadians um, that Justin Trudeau and his liberals are failing our great nation. Now, like you mentioned, Aaron O'Toole says he wants to unite Canadians as well as be a social conservative party. How does that and other issues that he's addressed play out in the conservative party going forward? Yeah, I, you know, I think this is the moment where um, all of us conservatives um, who are members and non-members get behind our leader. Um, and I mean, and we continue to hold Justin Trudeau accountable. I mean, when we look at even um, Justin Trudeau proroguing parliament, uh, one of my committees or one of the committees that um, were cancelled quote unquote, because um, Justin Trudeau prorogued parliament was one that I was sitting on, um, uh, which is human resources and social development and uh, status with persons with disabilities. And we were, um, this is kind of a catch all committee where we get everything. And um, we were studying the effects of, of the COVID-19 response that this liberal government has and, and how it's affecting seniors and how it's affecting children and families um, and workers, because all of that falls in this committee. So, you know, Aaron O'Toole is going to continue uh, to hold Justin Trudeau accountable for his actions and his inactions um, that he has had. And I think when we look at the WE scandal and the controversy that ha was emerging uh, and the documents that were needed to be provided to committees that were doing investigations like the finance committee or the ethics committee and to have him prorogue parliament and cancel all that um is just uh, cowardly you know uh and uh i i I expect that our Conservative caucus under the leader, um, Aaron O'Toole, will continue to press the government for answers on these things. You know, one of the things he's also mentioned to Rosemary was the he's putting the interest of Canadians first. And how does something like that play out into us here in the Battle for Islamist area? 
Absolutely. It's 100% important, right? And uh, this is one of the reasons that uh, back in 2017, when I won the Conservative nomination, uh, you know, uh, the members, the membership of Battleford's Lloyd Minster trusted me to take that message. And I can guarantee and tell you that I will continue to be the strong advocating voice, not only in the House of Commons, but also in our caucus room for the, for the, the people of Battleford's Lloyd Minster. Um, I have not been silent on... Um, um, you know, uh, how this Trudeau government has affected families, how it's, how it's affecting farmers, how it's affecting our energy workers. And I will continue to stand up and um, make their, their issues known and continue advocating for them. So I can guarantee you that I will continue to do that, even though we've had a leader change. Well, Rosemary, I really appreciate your time. Thank you very much for joining me today. Yes, anytime, Connor. You have a wonderful rest of your day.